What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today, bringing you guys a new video. And today we are going to be watching a Madden 25 head-to-head -head game that I played for coins against a subscriber. His name is Thanks for Playing, and we're playing on the PS4. Okay, now his team is 96 overall. My team is 92 overall at this point. And if you've been watching this channel at all, you know that I actually have never played in a coin game. I uh, didn't really understand how they worked very well, but this guy actually messaged me and asked me if I would play him in a game for 60,000 coins because he was trying to get some collectibles to get the Larry Allen card. So I said I didn't want to play for 60k, but I'd play for 20k. And the reason for that is because I've never seen this guy play. I'm not very good, first of all. And actually, when I accepted this, I didn't even know how good his team was. I didn't know that he had a 96 overall team. Uh, so, you know, I knew I was at a little bit of a disadvantage as soon as I saw that. I was still planning on playing him, though. I don't really have a problem playing somebody for 20,000 coins. I mean, it's a subscriber, and if he wants to play, if he really needs coins for whatever reason, I'll play him. I'm not just going to give him 20,000 coins. I mean, come on. But I will play him for 20,000 coins. So, let's get into the gameplay footage. It was a pretty fun game, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. First play on offense, I know my opponent knows that I like to go with the outside zone. So I fake him out and go with the play action over the top. Vernon Davis is wide open for a big first down on the first play of the game. Second play, and it's the read option with quarterback Walter Payton. Tyron Smith missed a block down the field or we would have been gone there. Next play though, we hand it off to Chris Johnson up the middle for about a six yard gain. And what I'm trying to do here is set him up for a play action. I know that the read option has been there working for me most of my time that I've played this game, but when subscribers are playing against me, I know I have to play a little bit different. And this is the play that I was setting up here. Watch my player going over the middle. It's Vernon Davis, and we're unable to hit him. Quarterback Walter Payton throws a terrible pass. Next play, it's third and 11. I try to pick it up with the screen pass. I'm unable to do it though. And instead of going for it on fourth down, we're just going to kick the field goal, take our three points. I definitely do not want to make mistakes. This is the most coins that I've played for. Yeah, I've played solo challenges and I've played head-to-head -head seasons, but never have I played for as much as 20,000 coins. But thankfully, on the first drive, we're doing pretty well on defense. Force a third and 15 here, but he's going to be able to convert it with a pass over the middle to his tight end. That kind of route has just been killing me. It was Antonio Gates that time, and I don't know why, but I just cannot seem to cover it. It's extremely frustrating. And he ended up picking up the first down, another first down in the next play. He ends up going off the edge here, and thankfully I made a tackle with Antro Roller. That could have been a disaster. Throw out to the left here to his running back, and Deion Sanders wraps him up. Deion, once again, coming up in the clutch, making nice plays. But right here, I did not see the read option coming on third and eight. I was not expecting that by any means. He caught me off guard. I actually pass committed that time. Awful idea, and he picked up an easy touchdown. Next play, though, we're back on offense. Vernon Davis with another nice catch down the field. We're trusting him to make the catches. Even if he's in traffic, he can do it. I know he can. I just have to make sure that I hit him with the pass. Quarterback Walter Payton can't be making those terrible throws like he did on the last drive. Let's try it again here. Vernon again. Oh, the spin movie ducks under him. That was delicious. We are now back on defense with the lead. Time to try and force some turnovers here. Now, he barely got out of the pocket there with Randall Cunningham, and watch what he did there. He did not step out of bounds with his quarterback. A dangerous decision, but it worked out for him. He was able to drive all the way down the field and kick a field goal here with the time expiring in the first half to tie it up. He actually got the ball coming out of the first half as well, and thankfully, we're able to play a little bit of defense here to start the second half as he throws a screen pass here to his running back. Look at Patrick Peterson just get trucked out of his shoes. Dickerson did lose the ball here, but it was overturned on the replay, and unfortunately, that meant that he kept the ball. Third and six, no pass commit from me this time, and he's going to be able to find an open receiver. He holds on to it despite a big hit from Devin McCourty, and he's really starting to just jam the ball down my throat at this point. I can't stop his offense. He's scored every drive so far, and it looks like he's going to score again, but fortunately, we're getting a decent pass rush. We force a big sack there. Elvis Dumerville trips him up, and we get to third and 26 this time Devin McCourty with not quite so strong of a hit breaks it up my opponent actually punted gave us the ball back now third and two we hand it up the middle though and we get stopped forced to punt the ball back to him a big wasted opportunity there and he's gonna take off again here with Randall Cunningham moving down the field but we forced the fumble there with Malcolm Smith and it's picked up this time by Derek Johnson 
no overturning this time. We get the ball at about midfield, and it's time to go to work now. Chris Johnson going to go off the left side here. He gets some nice blocking. We get a first down, step out of bounds, and I am not going to have the same mistake he did. I am not going to fumble here. We go off the edge. Walter Payton gets the edge, a nice block, and we are able to score here as he pulls his defenders away, likely trying to give himself some extra time to score. Now watch this play. I accidentally got stuck on Deion Sanders here. I did not mean to do that, but it came up good for me because Dion comes up with the pick, the 100% user pick there with the corner. That felt really good to get. We are back on offense and CJ2K with a nice spin move. And that brings us to the two minute warning. Now we're going to go off the right side, but he thought we were going left and there is nothing but Kentucky bluegrass in front of us. Chris Johnson, another touchdown. And at this point, I get a message from my opponent. He sends me something that just says, GTG, got to go. And I'm thinking, what the heck? He didn't quit or anything like that. I'm like, you better still pay up. I just scored it to go up two scores. Now he ends up throwing another interception here and Dion comes up with yet another pick. He has just been unbelievably clutch as of late. He fumbles here, but Patrick Peterson's right there to get the ball. And at this point, my opponent quit. I kind of saw that coming at this point. But, you know, I, I figured, okay, that's fine. I don't really blame him. It's, you know, he's down with a minute and a half left. He's down two scores. So I decide that I'm going to put this card up for auction. 20,000 coins for him to purchase. I did win my first coin game. I felt pretty good about it. I wasn't going to taunt or anything like that, but I was pretty happy, you know. I, I haven't, like I said, played any coin games before, so it was nice to win my first one. I, I kind of felt bad that it was against a subscriber and somebody that, you know, wanted to play me for 60,000 coins, but I figured, hey, it's better than him losing 60,000 coins. So I tell him here, I am actually going to put this card up. Um, and uh, I end up never hearing from him ever again. Yeah, he welched me, guys. And I know some of you have had that same problem with other people not paying up on their bets. But this one was really particularly frustrating to me because he goes out of his way to message specifically me to play him for 60,000 coins. He wanted 60,000 coins. And I would have given it to him if he would have beaten me. So anyway, that was pretty frustrating to me, but I know you guys have been there before. Thanks for watching anyways, guys. I didn't win the 20,000 coins at the end of the day, but what are you going to do? I mean, I won the game, but you know, bitch is going to bitch, I guess. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.